Hi everyone, my name is Johanna. I'm a program manager in Azure IoT, focusing on industrial IoT scenarios. Um, today I will be showing how you can manage your devices at scale using the jobs feature in IoT Central. With the jobs feature, you can do bulk updates to device and cloud properties and run commands without using a single line of code. So as an operator managing facilities, I would like to decrease the room temperature and set it to 70 degree Fahrenheit, as well as regulate the humidity in the rooms. After connecting the devices, which you can see here, I find the jobs tab in the manage section and I'm provided with three different views. The first one is the last 30 days tabs. What you see here are all jobs that ran in the past 30 days. Under the schedule tab, you can find all jobs that were configured, but they were set to start um, sometime in the near future, like for example, next week. And the last tab shows all jobs that were configured, but not finished. So I can go back and open it up to edit, but it's not running yet. To configure a job, I click on new here in the upper left corner and provide all the information, starting with the name and the description. The script is optional. Uh, I use it to provide some more information. Next, we choose an organization to associate the job to. In this case, I only have one option, which is the Contoso main campus. And I move on to the device group. Depending on how many organizations you have to choose from, the device groups might change. I choose the thermostat, and I can see that I have 1,116 devices. The next one is the job properties. Uh, we can choose between three job types. That's cloud property, property, or command. Properties are a point in time value. For example, the target temperature the device is trying to reach. Cloud property values are never exchanged for the device and commands can be called um, on the device, for example, to reboot it. I select property and set the wanted values. Uh, I'll start for the temperature, which is supposed to be 70. You can set multiple properties uh, by clicking add. The other one that I have as an option is the humidity and the value is 40. I click next and get to the delivery option page. Batches um, let you stagger jobs for large numbers of devices. We don't want to update all thermostats at the same time, so we select a specific amount of the devices and create a batch. This can be, for example, 10% of all devices. So if you have 1,000 devices, 100 will be updated. You can also choose a number instead of a percentage. I'll go with 10%, and then I enable the cancellation threshold which means uh, that you can automatically cancel a job if the number of errors exceeds your set limit. The threshold can apply to all the devices in the job or to an individual batch. I again choose a percentage, which is 15 per batch. So that means if a job fails on 50% of the devices per batch, the job will be canceled. Next, get to the scheduled page. If I enable it, I can schedule the job to run in the near future, like for example, tomorrow or the next week. You can choose a recurrence and a start and an end time. But in this case, I want the job to start immediately, so I disable it again. Now you're on the review page, so you can make sure that all the information is correct. And then when clicking on run, the job starts. Here you're provided with further information. You can stop the job whenever you want to and resume again when you're ready. And here you can also see that um, 245 devices were updated, zero have failed, and 742 are still pending. And this is constantly updating as the job runs. And that wraps it up. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was really useful. And if you would like to learn more, here are some links to check out.